What's up? This is Red the Bad Guy again with another video. And this video is about a little place called hell. That's right. Been a long time since I did this video, but there's a couple of people gotta put it in this little place called hell. You know, I'm trying to change up a little bit. You know, um this year, you know, um Um I gotta move forward, you know, I can't deal with this black man is in his BFF talking about black women all day long and so I gotta move forward you know um, it's a drag it's not getting nowhere and you know your channel eventually will um, get hit and like I said you know um, gotta put the wall aside I've been trying to tell these niggas for a long time on here to put the wall aside if they don't cooperate go somewhere else where you appreciate it at and, and you don't need to talk about them. Because you're talking about it is telling me that you still want these motherfuckers. You're still mad. You, you want to make them suffer pain, anguish, and hell. I ain't down with that. I'm trying to find solutions. To build a good YouTube channel, you're going to need. Some women on your channel. Simple as that. But you need to get the ones that's down with you. That's cool with you. You can have an actual conversation with, you know. They don't sit there disrespecting you and talking all this. You know, black man need to die and stuff like that. I hate black men. Shit, don't need them broads. But anyway, I got to put a couple people on the... Uh, little place called hell the people I got put on the plane AJ and Big J in full circle Big J I should have put Big J on there a long time ago he was on some bullshit stuttering by my food the butcher hell uh, want him he want him to stay down here forever he keep torturing him he can stutter his way out of out of punishment uh, next one is um, Full Circle. Now, Full Circle, we was cool with stuff like that. I don't know what happened. It was right after my channel got hacked and stuff. He just dropped off. I don't know. Maybe it was jealousy or whatever. But he just went left on me. And all of a sudden, I don't know why. But um, it is what it is. But he tried to come on a panel uh, last year. You know, Ronald gave him the link. I guess Ronald maybe thought that, you know, we was cool or something like that. And he came on the link like nothing happened. You know, didn't seem to say hi or nothing. It's just started getting a conversation like like he owned the place. And the motherfucker got the nerve today on AJ show to talk shit. All kind of shit. I see it as jealousy. For jealousy from somewhere I don't know. I really think that he was sent by somebody. But that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. But he should have been in a little place called Hell a long time ago. Like I said, he came on the show and acted like, you know, he ran shit and whatever the case may be, you know, um, didn't we say anything high, nothing like that, act like what transpired didn't happen, I mean, I didn't see him over in, what, a couple months and shit, more than a couple months, I say, and you gonna say hi or something, this and that, that, that what's up, man, because, he knew that if he emailed me, I wouldn't give him the link. So he went through way of Rollo. Rollo didn't know nothing about this. But he was talking big shit. He been talking big shit. Over and all the people that I got a problem with talking shit. Like I said, to this day, I don't know what the fuck I did. Maybe it was just straight jealousy. I don't know, but he got to go down up in here. The butcher won his ass bad. So butcher got him. Now next 
thing is um um uh, AJ, you know, just, um that statement AJ said, man, I just I just can't get over that stuff, you know, that that a woman, you know, um inspired me. be a better content creator an avatar I just I just can't get over that you know all these men on here that got channels and none of them inspire you come on I mean that's just, just tell me that you something And find out from Grandmaster Troll video that, you know, you don't even look at her videos. So, how can somebody inspire you to be a better creator when you never look at their videos and see how they're doing things? you just going by because you heard that she got a thousand live viewers now and all of me on this money super chat. Which tell me that you, you want that for your channel. I understand that, but hey, you're going to work with that shit. That's all I can say. I mean, maybe it's not for you. And that's another thing. Some content creators come on here. It just ain't for them. It is what it is. And then Preem, I gave Preem so many chances, you know, more than chances I gave Rollo. Always cutting people off, over talking people. Always saying crazy shit to people. He act like there's no racism existing, shit like that. Act like, you know, all you need is hard work and shit and this and that and third, you're not listening to reason. We go too far sometimes. So, that's it for him. I can't take it. But the one thing that get me is that these brothers are telling me I have to change the way I look, put a suit on, get rid of this chair, do this, do that. Then your views will go up. So if I did that, will my views go up? No, I don't think so. Because people were saying that, well, you copying off a Bernard Riley, you copying off of Karen Samuels now. One of my peoples, Marino Valley, watch my show. I was talking to brothers, he said, some of the brothers think that I was going to flip. They said this. A man told me this. We thought you was gonna flip, Red. You thought you was gonna put on a suit and be like Kevin Town. But you didn't. I'm proud of you. Be yourself. Like that cameo song, be yourself. And what gets me is that they telling me this shit. To do this, all this, and this will help. When you never would tell Amy Man this shit. Tell him, him to get rid of the Thor hammer behind his set. Stop smoking cigars. It's bad for your health. Why are y'all wearing all those polo shirts? Take them off. Put a suit on. Oh, I think y'all did. And he cursed y'all out. So you will never go over there. And O'Shea. I ain't see O'Shea in no suit. You won't tell him that. What's working for me works for me. 
So if you want to put on a suit, you go do it on your channel. Get a channel up and you go ahead and make videos and you're going to find out it's not as easy as you think. Tell the other brothers out here, put a suit on this and that and third. Be like Kevin Samuels. Get rid of the chair. This chair is props. This is part of me. Eventually, I'll get a new chair. But it'll be on my time. But I'll get a new refrigerator. Well, that might be coming soon. And the foil is on the back of the stove. I've been trying to tell people if you want that change, you want me to put a backsplash there? Donate. Want me chair? Donate. But don't don't tell me. I'm not gonna do it. So if you if you can't accept brother the way he is, then don't come back to the channel. It's funny that I got to do a video like this when you don't have to, when other brothers don't have to say this shit like this. You won't come to Sly and tell him, him to put a suit on and shit like that. He'll roast the fuck out of you. For some of you, you think you can get away with me. Bullshit. So, tell me what you think. A little place called Hell is back in effect. I never put this many people in a little place called Hell. It was unprecedented. And another thing, if I want to talk about my time on here in the past and get hacked and stuff like that I got big super I could do it the only time I want to fuck you if you still don't get it you can roll it up and stick it up your ass In Braille, that is. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a little sad because, you know, you know, the brothers, not, not Big J, but the other three. I like them brothers, but it's like I said, it is, it is what it is, you know. Um, sometimes shit happens. I mean, you can't please everybody on here. But it seemed like the bad guy always get this type of treatment. Don't do to nobody else. You, somehow you want to say this shit to me like I like I'm gonna listen to this shit see the thing is this when I was young didn't know anything I took a lot of people advice on this and that third and it didn't work out it didn't work out at all matter of fact whatever task I was trying to do I failed at it gotta be yourself if they don't accept you as this person then they're not gonna accept you at all simple as that and I always have a plan I got a plan if somehow this doesn't work out I have a plan.
plan for that too. I told y'all before in videos that I could leave this any day and I won't even blink an eye and go back to doing what I was doing or find something else to do to make money. It doesn't matter. I'm always making money outside of YouTube. So, don't worry about me. You need to worry about yourself. Stop worrying about my chair and shit and the backspash and shit like that. Worry about your channel. So that's all I got to say on this one. So next time, I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.